This is the pink installment to Rainbow Spring, a falcon-type bird and a pond of water lilies, hence the name Lily Bird. There's definitely more pink in this piece than there was red in Corgiolis or purple in Orchid Pony, but the more experimental decisions I took with this piece have made it a bit weaker than the other two. That being said, it did bring to mind two important aspects to making art that really bring my future projects to the next level in my progress as an artist. The first is the importance of a balanced color palette. The palette I used was Redundant Shades of Pink, Ultramarine, and Sepia. Without utilizing the fact that Sepia and Ultramarine make black or gray depending on how you look at it, this is a very lopsided palette. Tossing in a green or orange or both would have helped out immensely when I couldn't make the subject stand out from the background. I tried to fade it out with white gouache, but it didn't do as much as I wanted. I also implemented some gold ink to cover up my sins, but its effectiveness is victim to lighting. Being able to work with a limited color palette is a good skill to have, and if you suck at values, make sure you have a palette that will cover your other bases. The most important thing I learned from this piece, however, hails back to a small piece of advice I got from my first art teacher in middle school, which was all about detailing what you want to focus on. It wasn't that exactly, but it's what I've contorted it into after a few years. I realized too late in this piece that to cover my weak color palette and weak values that I would have to bank heavily on a blurry background. I didn't quite make it again because fading out the background with zinc white can only do so much and I forgot that I had titanium on hand. Also, painting animals isn't my strong points. This was a super fun piece to paint. I think next time around I want to draw falcon type birds in color pencil or I can level the fuck up in watercolor detail. The sepia I used was this very interesting watercolor crayon block thing. While I didn't have any problems mixing it with all my watercolors, I think moving forward I'm just going to use it to bolster up my value skills. This piece was supposed to be for someone I used to work with but it kind of really sucks so I'm gonna paint something else for them. When, who knows, school's coming around in two weeks and I have a 13 hour class schedule. I didn't mean to get it, it just kind of happened please help. I don't know what rainbow string piece I'm going to work on next either, but I will be using the next few pieces to get these damn student paints out of my fucking pants. I want my half pans back. I don't have any other artist colors to put them in, but I want those bitches fucking empty. Hot damn. I'm okay. Hey, thanks for watching my video on the Lilybird Rainbow Spring project. I think next time I do a series, I'm going to at least have the sketches all done one by one because this is taking too long. I didn't want it to take this long. I started before I was out of school and now school is starting up again.